Welcome to Beyond the Press channel. Today we have another machining video. Again, a little bit bigger project. Not as heavy as last time, but otherwise pretty interesting. And the idea is to machine these wings. So they are pretty large and thin. So the mounting is going to be interesting. And we are going to machine them with the smaller milling machine. And the problem is that they are too wide for the table. You can't mount them on the table. And usually it isn't a problem if it sticks out. But because these are so thin, they are going to start to shake a lot. In case they are not supported from all, the, all around the ring. So, we are machining special chick with the larger milling machine to install these on the smaller one. And here we have the steel frame of the chick. We have already machined this surface completely flat and this is going to be against the smaller milling machine stable. And on the last video you asked some more footage of the mounting. And with this we have first mounted the, these like what you call these parts, the vertical supports here. So they are just with these large bolts on the table. One on each side on for both of these. And then this is clamped with these to this. And then there is of course a small pieces under there. And then because this is so large span here, it would start to shake a lot. We have put a support there. And it's applying some force against that. Not much, but enough to stop that like rattling around. And we have also already holes here. Uh, next task is to thread them. And then we are going to use these. They are going to be on here. Something like this. And then these are going to hold the actual rings. Yeah, so again, pretty demanding and large project. Okay, so now the piece is in a smaller milling machine. And now it has to be just mounted there and then we're going to mill this surface here also completely flat so then the rings are really well mounted there and to be sure that the cheek itself is really well mounted we drilled some holes to it and we're going to bolt it straight to the table without any extra parts so in that way the cheek itself doesn't start to shake and it's also easier to change the rings there when there isn't anything stick out from the cheek when it, but it's like completely flat flat surface and you can like slide them in and out easily so there are the holes now one hole is ready and then we're going to just put bolts there and it's going to be really well really well mounted there and you could do this also with the lathe but you can't use the like regular lathe chuck because the rings are so thin that if you squeeze it from like outside in from three or four points and then you machine it and open it they're not going to be round anymore so you have to have these holding it down from like many points so now there isn't any tension on the ring when we machine it and when we open the clamps, it's still round and doesn't change shape.
Yes, and here is time lapse footage from GoPro. I don't remember what is the speed on this. And I think it took like maybe one hour to do one. I'm not sure I didn't have time to watch one whole piece. I was again quite busy with other projects. But uh, after we got the jig made, this was pretty simple or like really simple job. And the milling machine does actually surprisingly good circles. They are re really round and precise. So if you don't need like really fine surface quality, it's like you can do some lathe stuff with the milling machine like this. And we had two high piles of these, so building jig wasn't too much, too much hassle for the whole project. And here is my next machining project. I have to uh, drill some holes through these and make other features with the milling machine. And I haven't decided I'm going to make YouTube video of that or Twitch stream or both. But if you like the machining videos, please let me please let me know and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. And for today's extra content, we are testing new camera setup where we have really long stick sticking out from our Subaru and then there is 360 degree camera on end of the stick so it's going to be a bit like drone footage but it's like much easier to keep up with the car <laughs> as you can see only problem is that the uh, stick tends to like shake quite much but I think it like at least now it's like I think it's usable not like not as smooth as it could be I think I could try with some, uh, if I track the car for example, I think that would make it better. I, I, I'm going to try with After Effects and some tracking soft, tracking algorithm. If I stabilize it with the car, then it's going to be probably okay. And the car has, by the way, the summer tires, so it's a bit hard to drive it understeers a lot. You have to like Scandinavian flick it to like get it drift. But soon it's going to be ice, ice driving season, so it's going to be good car food that's coming.